guys and today I'm back with um, another bracelet as you can see here sorry I've been gone for a while I had some problems yeah so I kind of made two versions so this is the the smaller version and the tighter version is slightly harder to make and this is just the fat version it I, I um, in my opinion I feel that this is better but I am going to show you how to make these two anyway so, first you're gonna need to pick one one color, main color, and another color there. And if you want, you can just do any color for the insides here. I'm just gonna do kind of rainbow. So you're just gonna set out your loom by this normal position and make sure triangle is facing that way, this way. And it, I'm gonna use black for this. So basically, you're just gonna put the bands all the way down here however long you like and I'm just gonna pause the video and I'll be back soon so if you haven't finished um, laying out all these bands just pause the video and finish it up so now that we've laid all the bands down here we're gonna we're gonna start making the insides over here so to make the insides we're basically gonna have to use a hook it's my hook and colors so I'm going to use um, this light blue and also plastic and of course you need your main color or whatever color you want for um, to attach it on to the to the outline so first you're gonna grab one of the colors doesn't matter and you just wrap it around your hook twice so as you can see these three um, wraps <laughs> And then you're going to take the other color, of course, doesn't matter. And you're just going to wrap it around once. So it's like a cap band, basically. And by the way, this is... Sorry, I didn't mention this in the beginning, but this is for the tighter one. So for if you do want to make the fat one, you're, gonna, you're just going to have to wrap both bands twice. I mean once. But for the skinnier one, you're going to have to wrap one of the bands three times. Two times, sorry. So now that you've wrapped both bands, I'm just gonna grab the band, and you can, and you're just gonna t make one twist and attach it on. This might be a little bit hard, and if it's too hard, then maybe you can, you can stick to the fat one. So um, this. Wait, sorry, <laughs> having some difficulties. Okay, so now that I've um, wrapped it around twice again, it should look kind of odd -y looking. And you're going to take your other color and you're just going to make, like making a cap band. So you, I'm just going to use two fingers and wrap um, the band around my finger. And I'm just going to basically attach it to the end of this hook. And I'm going to just pinch some of it and drag it on you don't have to, you can pinch all of it if you want but I'm just gonna go through this kind of slowly oh there's some band stuff so make sure you get everything over if you are making the fatter one you do not have to uh, do not have to make a double a double tie band you just have to you just have to get get a band and then slide this on so it makes everything loose now that you've you've got this you're just gonna put it on sideways diagonally so just do that and attach this on here so I'm just gonna show you how to make an, another one so this time I'm gonna use dark blue oops wrong one. dark blue and of course my other colors so remember if you're making the fat one I mean the skinny the fat one just just wrap it around twice like this and wrap the wrap the other color twice as well but if you are doing the the, the skinny one you're gonna have to make it tighter so I'm just gonna wrap this twice take my other color and wrap it once just saying again it doesn't matter which color goes first it honestly doesn't matter so now that I've done this I'm just gonna have to grab it and double it up oops Wait, I kind of messed up. Okay, so grab it. 
this double it. So if you're having trouble, you just gotta pinch it. Gotta pinch it, and then you can put one finger through, twist it, and put it over the hook. I can't exactly show you because um, it's kind of hard to, so... If you do have any questions, just comment or anything. Now, um, for I'm gonna make, obviously I am making the skinnier version, so I'm gonna have to make it again. I'll just show you again. So, two fingers, gonna grab it, um, twist it, and then put it back on. So, and then just put it onto the end of the hook, and slide everything on. If you're having trouble doing this, just slide some of it on at first, and then do the rest later. So, as you see, I'm just sliding a few bands on at a time, because this is pretty tight. Almost got it. Okay, got it. So it should look something like this, and I'm just going to bring this back. And you're just going to attach it on. Whoops, mine kind of fell off. Yeah, it kind of fell off. If it falls off, I guess you have to repeat. So you're just going to continue on over here all the way diagonally until, over until the last one here. So now just pause the video because I'm going to uh, stop the recording and do this on myself done this so it should look something like this mine is rainbow of course and just ignore this it's supposed to be purple but I kind of ran out of purple anyway it should it should be Chris it should be a cross I'm just doing it because it looks better and just reminding you this is for the skinny one so it's gonna end up a little bit tighter and if you are doing the fat one this should look a little bit loose obviously because this one is doubled up so now it's time to finish up the bracelet. So you're just gonna grab one, one color, I probably the base color, and you're just gonna make a cap band. So you're just gonna put it on, twist it, and put it over. So cap band, and you're gonna grab your hook, and you're just gonna start looming it. So you're gonna grab the one, the on the first one, and then hook it to the, hook it back to where it was. Grab the other one. And hook it back to where it came from and you're just going to continue all the way down to the very end here and so now just pause the video and when you're done just continue to play the video and we'll finish this bracelet so now that i'm done it should look something like this all teardrop shapes all the way down and i of course finished it over here it shouldn't be too hard it's quite standard and now you're just going to grab uh, one of your one band probably the base color and you're just gonna stick your hook through and you're gonna attach this band on and you're just gonna pull that band using your hook all the way through all the bands here shouldn't be too hard and attach the other side where you're holding to the hook itself so now I'm just gonna pull it off slowly and just pull it off really slowly oops sorry just peel it off one at a time. It shouldn't be too hard. And I'm just going to skip this part. And I'll see you when you have peeled off your bracelet. So now that it's out of the loom, we're just going to extend the bracelet because this is way too short. So to do that, we're going to grab one of the bands, like probably the base color. You're just going to attach it to the end of the hook. Now you're just going to drag, drag these bands onto the hook. I mean onto the band from the hook. And just push it and attach the other side onto the hook like so so you're just basically going to continue until it is long enough for you to wear it's basically going to make a chain so when you're done you're just going to you're just going to get a C clip um and attach it to this cap band over here let me find the cap band so the cap band is here just going to attach a C clip one side of the C-clip here, and another side of the C-clip will, will be attached here. And it'll just be a little bracelet like this. Thanks guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Drop it.